I love it. Corey, yes. Oh, oh my god. Shut up. Oh, what a hot bun. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm jumping straight into this video. I'm not messing around. Today, I will only be eating like Corey's World. Corey's World is a TikToker. TikToker, that sounds wrong. I'll link him down below. If you don't already watch him, he's the best. Go watch him. I love Corey's World. He basically eats great food and it just like thrives on it. And I just love it. Without further ado, breakfast this morning. So I've got a Ribena light, but I've also got <laughs> jam and cheese on toast. Cheese and jam on toast. It's about time you grew up and tried it. Jam on toast, beaut. Cheese on toast, beaut. Why not make some together? Exactly. I haven't had a Ribena since I was a kid, I don't think. Can't say they're my favorite drink, but he had a lot of Ribenas in his TikToks. Let's go. Oh yeah. That's all right. I like that. Mm. Oh my God, what a slay. I think the thing I don't like about cheddar cheese is I find it way too plain. Especially that really mature cheddar, I just No, that's where the flavor comes. Mm. I'm a bit too mature for you. That wasn't even a joke. That doesn't even make sense. But the sweetness of the jam is a nice contrast. Is it tickling your pickle? Mm -hmm. No, that's good, it's quite fun. Yeah, it's a bit different. That under the grill for a bit. Mm. Oh, stop it. Mm. Ribena. Oh, here he is. That tastes like Ribena though. It is Ribena. Oh, I feel like I used to love that. Oh, it's all yours, hon. When I was doing my research, and yes, I did my research, the majority of Corey's breakfasts are actually like savoury meals. What I usually have for dinner. So this is probably the most like breakfast thing that he actually has. I don't know how I feel about having a spag bowl for breakfast. You have a spag bowl for breakfast? I'd do that. Yeah, you'd enjoy it though, I reckon. You like a spag bowl at the end of the day. Mm. That was superb. I really like that. Oh my God, Corey, yes. At first I was a bit like, hmm. And I was like, actually, why wouldn't that work? The Ribena, not really for me. Just real nostalgia that is. Oh. She's back on the grind. It's autumn. I just think the Harry Potter series are so good in autumn, winter time. So I've started again and it's making me so happy. The more I drink this, the more I actually like it. That was a surprisingly good breakfast, actually. I will catch you at lunchtime. She's going to go have a coffee off camera. No. <laughs> uh... Hey, people. Welcome back. Lunchtime. I'm so excited. Thank you, Corey. So I actually had a bit of an ordeal trying to get it. I went all the way down to Greg's and then they didn't have the one thing I wanted, which was a corned beef pasty. They're a Corey staple. If you watch Corey's World, you will know. It's got to be a corned beef pasty. Corned beef pasties. Corned beef pasty. A corned beef pasty. Corned beef pasties. Corned beef pasties. Corned beef pasty. You better be there. I went all the way down to Greg's. Turns out they don't do them. This is news to me. The corned beef pasty is only available in the north. That's a bit rude. Luckily, I went into Iceland. They only go and sell corned beef pasties from the Greg's range. I was buzzing about that. So that's in the oven currently. I did actually get something from Greg's. I got one of the chocolate star biscuits because that's also a popular one. The spiky Mikey makes everything better. It's actually quite hot today. So I was really craving a nice ice drink. Corey is quite the frappe guy. It's the salted caramel one. I know he's had those in the past. I do sound a bit creepy, don't I, doing this video? I swear I'm not a creep, Corey, if you ever watch this. Anyway, yeah, so salted caramel frappe. Before I drank coffee i always used to get frappes from costa Ooh, that is not bad that's really good very milky i feel like the caramel flavor isn't as strong as i would like it's technically salted caramel as well and doesn't taste salty at all mm. oh my gosh i love greg's i love it although the prices <laughs> their prices have skyrocketed i remember when you could get one of those for like 50p or something 60p i think it was i am obsessed with this frappe oh my god it's so good old me would be in her happy place i wouldn't go for salt with caramel normally as well but that's why do i go in i just feel like this is gonna burn my mouth oh my gosh i've missed greg so much ah that is can you see the steam that's coming out of that? <laughs> By the way, Bake Off is back. I'm literally emotional. I'm so unbelievably excited. That is my favorite time of the year, Bake Off season. Fills me with pure joy, genuinely. It does look very odd. I'm really scared it's undercooked. I mean, it's great. 
Mmm. Do I put it in for longer, maybe? I don't know. To be fair, it's beef, so it can't be that bad, surely. <laughs> okay, we're back. It's looking a little bit more vibrant. One of the reasons why I like Corey's world so much is he's so open and raw. As you know, if you've watched my videos before, I went through a pretty rubbish stage with my weight and self-esteem and all that jazz. And his TikToks actually helped me so much because he's just there living his life, eating what he wants and just enjoying himself. Not everyone's gonna eat that way and not everyone's diet's the same and that's fine. But I think I get in my head so much that I have to eat very certain things. And sometimes it's just like, oh my God, the pressure's too much. His videos and TikToks have always just like helped me realize that it's fine to eat what you want, basically. No one's gonna come and tell you what Oh my god. You can have two takeaways in a day. No one's gonna arrest you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's fine. And yeah, it just really, really helped me in that sense. Mmm, this is good. So there was no queue when I went into Greg's, right? No signs to say which side to queue at. So I went to the left. This guy comes in, goes and stands at the right. I just gave him a little bit of a look, like, just to say, kind of like, what are you doing? Like, this is the queue. He was like, oh, and then came and queued behind me. Clearly hadn't seen me. Fine, whatever. Anyway, these two girls come in and queue on the right-hand side, get served first before us. And I stood there like, oh. and they had seen us as well. I was just going to leave it and not say anything. The guy behind me was like, uh, no. <laughs> I was literally like, oh my God, what? I started. We've been here before. This is the queue. And the guy at Greg's was like, uh, no, that's the queue. And then the guy behind me was like, well, there's no sign and was getting like really like annoyed about it. And I was just stood there like, oh my God, this is literally all my fault. So sorry. In the end, we had to queue behind the girls. I was like, you actually joking? Oh my God, this has got like onion in it. Mm. On the subject of Bake Off, oh my God. I actually worked on the NCAs the other day. It was a really cool experience. Like I was so lucky to be able to do it. I only stood next to Mary Berry herself. I actually nearly teared up and I was like, don't tear up for goodness sake. She is just like such an idol. <laughs> so I'm gonna try the Star Biscuit. I've never had one of these before. <gasps> Shut up, that is so good. Oh my god, I am eating well today. Does anyone else do that? Mm. That is the most underrated little thing I've ever seen. What a little treat, eh? Right, I will see you at dinner time. We're getting a takeaway, which I am buzzing to try. It's gonna be good. Oh my god, it smells good. Live unboxing. Live unboxing. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so excited. What could it be? Slim chickens. Ah. Get about 10 chips. We've got one bit of toast. <gasps> that that looks bad so boy. Good. Oh, it smells amazing. Ooh. So I went for the chicken tenders meal with the toast thing. The garlic cheese dip. Are you okay? Oh, God. That looks incredible. I love buffalo so much. That's oh, fine. my God. The ranch dip. Gravy. Oh, should we have a look at it, actually? <gasps> it looks thick. Mmm, it smells like Christmas. It's a lot of gravy as well. And then obviously a Diet Coke, which I'm very glad that Corey drinks because I also love a Diet Coke. There were so many options for dinner and I was really stressed because I felt like I should have really got fish and chips or chippy tea, as Corey likes to call it. Chippy tea! But I just don't feel like the fish and chip places hit the same in London. But in his most recent TikTok, he got slim chickens and this is exactly what he got. I've heard great things. James is actually, you've had it before, haven't mm -hmm. you? It's good, but I don't rave about it. I've been in food heaven all day today. Yeah, this has been a good one, actually. It's been such a good video. Corey has absolutely smashed it. Yeah. Mmm. I don't really understand the toast situation. There is no crunch to that mm -hmm. at all. No, it's not for me. No. The bread in the cupboard's better than that. Okay, I'm gonna try the ranch dip. What even is ranch dip? I love ranch, man. Mmm. Yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna try the garlic cheese. Mm. No, this looks like mayo. I yeah, I feel like you would like this. It just tastes like garlic mayo, to be fair. It's fine. The best dip for me that's is good the though. gravy. Yeah. I was in Cardiff if I had some chickens. Why Cardiff? No, it's just our business. Why are we at Cardiff? <laughs> These are good to be fair. This with the gravy. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Do you want to bite my burger before I finish it? Mm. Oh my God, that Go looks quick. Incredible. Get in there. That tastes like Frank's. Yeah. Oh no, I don't like Frank's. It's weird because I love spice, but, no, but I don't like hot sauce. Yeah, it's like a, 
It's not like traditional spice, it's like atomic spice. Yes. I love it, I can't get enough of it. I've got heartburn. Yeah, because you eat at the speed of light. It's because I'm a greedy guts. <laughs> You're gluttonous. I am so glutt. No, that is bang on me. Oh, it's just, oh, I'm sad the burger's over. I've got a burnt mouth, I've just realised that. Oh no, it's the worst thing. I've had a burnt mouth for a week and it's keeping me up at night. Keeping you up at night? A little bit. I gave James the fright of his life the other night. I went to the loo about what, like, I think it was about three o'clock or something. Went to the toilet, go to wash my hands, turn around as a figure at the doorway. Oh my I god. I don't know why I just stood there. Yeah, well. you were just literally stood there. Because I was like, I don't want to creep up on you and then be like right <laughs> next to you. That's thought, even worse. She thought standing in the doorway was a good alternative. Thank you, I didn't scream. You were like, oh my god. It was terrifying. Also, I had the funniest dream last night. I was being eaten by a dolphin. <laughs> Andy from the office was like giving us like a zoo tour. To be fair, it was kind of cool. There was like penguins and like dolphins. I was like, why is that dolphin like coming up to us? It was like walking over. It literally starts like, sucking at my face. And everyone else was just strolling around looking at all the penguins. And I was like, uh. And I heard this thing once where someone was like, oh, you can't die in your dreams. No, because you just wake up shortly. I always die in my dreams. <laughs> once I got killed by a cyber man. Respectable. Yeah, but your dream was kind of fun last night. So I feel like I'll say it, it'll go down like a lead for <laughs> Basically, I was in Tesco. All the checkouts were tables. Each table was playing this game, some medieval game, where you had to like, like really like use your resources really well. One of my resources was a bit of garlic. I just ate a bit of the garlic because I really wanted it. So the person comes over and sees that I've eaten it. <laughs> Slaps me in the bum. <laughs> It's like Hunger yeah. Games-esque. No, the Hunger Games you don't get people slapping each other in the bum, do you? <laughs> I do like how much sauce is going down right now. I've still got leftovers of everything, which is great. But that's not the best chicken and chips I've ever had. But, uh, I sort of knew this was going to happen, to be honest. I know you did, and I said to James, no, you're wrong. <laughs> Everyone said how lovely it is. The gravy was good. That was so thick and lovely. I went into town earlier, and I went to Tiger, and I got this. Yes, which is so cute. It's a little popcorn machine, but it's a ball ball. Look at that. Seriously cute. Anyway, we'll see you at dessert. James doesn't actually know what I've got for I've got no idea. So this is- Oh no, kind of flat hair. Oh, why is your hair like that? I have got Oreo Ooh, ice cream. Oh, it looks decent. So it's like an Oreo sandwich. Oh, I thought you'd like that. Oh. These strawberry jammy dodgers, so the actual biscuit is yeah, strawberry as well. Those. Yeah, no. I'm excited about that. Corey always has Oreo ice creams. And then also, in one of his TikToks, he picked up these, and I was like, wow, okay, they look fun. Oh, the smell. You're going to love these. Mmm. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Are you all right? Mm -hmm. James eats things whole and then, like, chokes. I've never no, choked. He does. <laughs> <laughs> that is so yummy though. That is real good. The flavour is popping off. Mm, oh my god. Look at that. It literally is a massive Oreo. Right, let's go. This cost me £2.25 though. Jesus. I know. That's not as um, ice cold as I thought it was going to be actually. I thought it was going to really kill my teeth off. I take it back. Uh, oh my god. Woo. Yummy. Comment down below if you go to the ice cream, what would you even call them? Like freezers, I guess. The ones with the individual ice creams. What would you get? I'd probably get like a Magnum or something. They do a white and raspberry Magnum. It looks so good. Oh my god, this is just really going down a treat. Today has been a very pleasant video, I'll be honest. The thing that surprised me the most, the jam and cheese toast this morning. So good. My favourite thing of the video, ooh. Either the corned beef pasty or the gravy at Slim Chickens. I might have to have one more of these. They're so good, guys. But like the majority of the things I had today, I wasn't really expecting to like that much. Apart from Slim Chickens being a little bit under par, everything was so good. And I do feel like if you actually had Slim Chickens in the restaurant, it would be a lot better. Mm, so good. Oops. Oh. 
my highlight it was actually probably the breakfast. The breakfast was so good the and so different. random, but mm. I would have that again 100%. Mm. Tomorrow morning we're having it. <laughs> yeah, literally. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Corey, for, for making this the best video ever because... I am so food content right now. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. What should they do, James? Hit that subscription bell, notification bell. I've got mine on. See you next week, guys. Bye.